let's take a look at this interesting looking tree it's called a ghost tree it's madagascar a ghost tree saw this at a garden by the bay in a singapore you can uh, tell by looking at the branches why it's called a ghost tree very thin branches it does have a small tiny leaves very small uh, compared to the size of the tree definitely matches the name I think that's how it looks when it's in full bloom. Really interesting evolution. Looks like a creeper that are turned into a tree. Really unique ghost tree. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, interesting plants. Even though they look like stones, these are uh, stone plants. Can you see the stone looking plants in our uh, miniature garden? Need to fool their predators by pretending to be hard and dry as pebbles in reality they are soft and juicy as they are adapted to storing water quite a clever design by nature some of them are even uh, colored that way Interesting shape though. Looks like an eye. I wonder if the opening on top uh, has any use for uh, collecting water. really well camouflaged when it's just one plant nature is amazing quite nice check it out let's take a look at this interesting plant with the flowers it's called a desert rose Desert rose is one of the names used for uh, many species. These are uh, found in Africa and the Middle East. These have uh, colorful flowers but very few leaves and you have a really big stem which can uh, store water which help these uh, survive in uh, deserts. That's how the flower looks. Really colorful. I wonder if the shape of the flower is also designed in a way to collect water. Really interesting plant. Nature is amazing at adapting. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this unique grapevine.
it's a grape plant. There are apparently 79 species of grapes. That's how it looks. Really unique looking leaves. Looks like a maple leaf. That's how the grapes look. And uh, they begin quite tiny and slowly get bigger. And slowly start to ripe. We have found some amazing use for this plant. Very unique. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, artichoke agave. These have a really unique shape with the spiky thorns at the end. It's a evergreen plant that forms tight rosettes. That's the shape. has a reddish brown teeth and a terminal spines. I really like how it begins in the center and slowly falls away to create this unique shape. This is the extreme version of it with a very unique spikes. That's the small one. This is how the big one looks. It's quite huge. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this really unique tree. That's the name of it. It has a bottle shaped uh, swollen trunk in which water is stored for a dry season. It has number of thick branches. The bark is smooth, it contains chlorophyll and is green when young, unable to photosynthesis but turns grey with age. It is covered with the thick woody conical spines. It even has large solitary flowers. It's really amazing how plants adapt to different environments. Very unique tree. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this straw flower or a golden everlasting. It's really interesting to see all the different stages of the flower on the same plant at the same time. It's a plant that's native to Australia. Really beautiful flower. We 
it's an annual shrub that grows up to three feet has these uh, beautiful flowers in uh, quite a few colors I guess somewhere in there there is a message for us too really beautiful flower love the colors quite nice check it out let's take a look at this dying plant i am not dead just tricking you that's the name of it it's also called a snake plant. This African succulent plant has a interesting adaption to defend itself against predators. Its copper colored leaves look as if they were deceased or even are dead avoiding attacks from herbivores the attention to detail is kind of amazing very interesting evolution quite nice check it out Let's take a look at this unique plant. It's called uh, Tiger Jaws. It's a unique looking species. It has a big yellow flower. Requires three or more hours of sunlight to bloom. Displaying fleshy jaw-like total leaves these teeth like spines are harmless these teeth collect moisture for the inner part of the plant and uh, take them down to the roots very unique name and uh, looks quite unique too quite nice check it out let's take a look at this unique plant that's the name of it it's from Africa. It's a massive tree that reaches 25 meters tall and uh, up to 10 meters wide in nature. The flowers are unique in that uh, they bloom at night and are uh, pollinated by fruit bats. And its fruits are uh, dispersed by terrestrial mammals such as baboons and elephants everything of this tree is useful from building materials to food to medicine so it's a really useful tree some of these uh, can apparently weigh few tons really interesting to see how different trees are in africa very unique quite nice check it out let's take a look at this madagascar palm that's the name of it apparently it's not a palm 
it has a few leaves that's how they look looks like it doesn't like anyone coming near the whole plant is covered in it very unique placement and a design and has a white fragrant flowers it's covered in these interesting looking thorns really interesting self defense with the thorns they don't grow that tall quite nice check it out let's take a look at this forest gardenia from south africa it's a really interesting tree with some unique looking fruit which don't uh, fall off until they are uh, forcibly removed either by elephants or uh, other animals which eat them and uh, spread the seed i think that kind of explains the hard shell i don't think i know other trees that have a uh, fruit that don't fall off it also has really fragrant flowers and uh, these fruit stay on the tree indefinitely that's a really unique feature quite nice check it out let's take a look at this hybrid fuchsia really colorful flowers that's how the bud starts out in a really nice pink color it opens up to become a white flower which has a very intricate design if you start looking there are uh, messages everywhere looks amazing and it works the other way around too. really beautiful flowers quite nice check it out Let's take a look at this sweet orange. It's a quite a popular fruit in India. So the orange looks It's green in color and uh, turns yellow when ripe. as these are really delicate flowers that smell amazing these sweet oranges are really good for making juices this plant grows into a really big tree quite nice check it out Let's take a look at this grass tree. It's from Australia. These grass trees have a unique adaptation that enables them to survive bushfire. Looks very unique. These have a fire resistant box. and uh, lignotubers 
that develop into shoots out of fire. So they have found ways to overcome fire. The bark looks like armor. These apparently produce more flowers once they are burnt. It looks quite unique and a very unique adaption. It can even overcome fire. Quite amazing evolution. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Bushman River Saikada. It grows from this blob. I guess that helps store all the energy rather than becoming a stem it stays as a blob and uh, sprouts out the stems another interesting plant with a unique evolution Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this giant grass tree. This is from Tasmania in uh, Australia. Rather than the leaves dropping off, they stick to the stem and become part of the tree. Looks very unique. Such branches are called uh, terminus branches, meaning that the leaves remain on the plant and it has a uh, deep pink color uh, flowers. Really unique giant grass tree. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this olive tree. That's where it uh, grows. Really tiny leaves. And it has quite a few of them. And grows into a really big tree. That's how the olives begin. It has flowers on the olives. Flower falls off once the olive gets bigger. Kind of amazing that we turn this fruit into such a tasty treat. Quite nice. Check it out. 